can I help you, fine gentlemen of the Imperial Army? Hey! Hold it right there! Grab <laughs> Found her skulking around the outer perimeter, Gerald's hack. She says she's from Dantu Town. Her speeder bike is hidden east of the base. We're trying to locate it. Uh, I surrendered and handed over my weapons. I just want to help. Why are you here? I'm stealing stuff. Well, salvaging. But I think I should get bonus marks for honesty, right? The base cleared out months ago, so I figured if there was anything left here, it was mine. I find you in the middle of an abandoned rebel base, and you claim you know nothing? Surely not the rebels! The rebels are small and disorganized, barely more than bandits. This place could have held dozens of spaceships. Surely the rebels couldn't support a base like this. I think you're mistaking being clever for being smart. I'm sorry, no one had any idea this was a rebel base. It had been abandoned for months by the time I got here, and this is the biggest military force Dantooine has ever seen. Dantooine is quiet, indoor lighting is a novelty, and to show a force like this and everyone from around here will know that no one could dream of resisting the Empire. I do not think there is any danger of the Empire's seriousness being underestimated. Today, Scavenger, the Empire destroyed Alderaan. How? Surface bombing? Even with a fleet of Star Destroyers, that'd take weeks. Or a bioplague, like on Genosha. Is this Tarkin initiative technology? I love the work I've seen coming from the labs. Is it like a city flattening thing or a leave the building standing thing? Are we talking about just sentience or a full flora fauna extinction event? Seriously, how? Atmosphere ignition? I've seen plans for that. Ooh, mantle fissure. Magma core exposure can make a mess out of civilization. Or, oh, I'm torturing myself. What do you mean exactly? I mean the planet is dust. Like dust dust? Like bits of asteroid and people floating in space? That? The Death Star destroyed Alderaan. Wow, that's amazing. Sir, we've looked for a speeder and can't find it. I don't think you're a rebel. I do think you're trouble. And I suspect the world would be better off without you. So, is this the first time you've executed someone? Don't speak, prisoner. Or what are you going to do? Shoot me? Were you aboard the Death Star? You're very interested in planetary destruction. Who wouldn't be? It's a weapon like that and you're excited by it? It just makes you think. How do you even design something like that? I mean, do you think the Death Star had a trigger? Someone ordered it to be fired, but that's easy. Did someone actually have to pull the trigger? I'll bet there wasn't. I bet it's a bunch of people, so everyone can have some deniability of responsibility. Six engineers all charging up firing chambers, and it's only when they're all powered up the weapon engages. That's how I'd do it, because if someone had the weight of knowing they killed a whole planet on them, that could break them. They could just not press the button. That's how they do firing squads on some worlds. There's someone whose gun isn't firing for real, so they can always think, hey, maybe I didn't do it. It's those little illusions that get us through. It's hardest when you've got no way to self-deceive. You're doing this solo. You're as unlucky as I am. Well, nearly as unlucky. You ever shot someone in cold blood? Turn around. Hey, I'm trying to help. I want to make this easy for you. This is going to sit inside you forever. And if I'm going to die, I want to really think about this. Imagine actually killing Alderaan. Alderaan of all places. Alderaan is nice! Who'd blow up Alderaan? Hell of a place, incredible history, good party town, even had great sunsets. Now it doesn't even have a sky. And you're here, with a gun pointing at some chatty lady. And you're always going to remember this day. 
People are going to ask us all where we were today. Where were you when Alderaan died? And you're going to say, that's the day I went for a walk into some beautiful woods on Dantween and shot that weird innocent scavenger lady. If you're feeling philosophical, you'll say something like, all innocents died that day and people will nod and know that just because you did this really bad thing, it doesn't make you a bad person. It's okay. I forgive you. You can always induce a jam with the Imperial Model Blasters if you got the right frequency, which I do. Reboots after a couple seconds. You've never shot someone in cold blood. Guess who has? No, please. They train you to shoot. They train you to follow orders. They train you in, well, other things. Marching, I guess. But they don't train you to beg for your life. Take your helmet off. <sighs> See, now you're human. If you're begging for your life, you want people to know you're a living, breathing thing and not some weird enamel droid. It's easy to kill stormtroopers because all that stuff about triggers I told you, I don't think any of it's true. I think that the Death Star had a trigger because I think it's easy to kill a planet. It's all so abstract. It's why guys like Tag are fine with sending armies to their death while they order their troops to take me out of sight to put a blast through my chest. A planet doesn't have a face. It'd take a real monster to pull the trigger if Alderaan had a face. <laughs> okay. Please don't kill me, please. This is the deal. Put your helmet back on. Tell them you shot me. If they ask, tell them I begged, but they won't ask. Another death today isn't exactly going to rape, right? That's your people thinking you've done your job. Alderaan's dead, and the scavenger and stormtrooper both live. Sound good? Small minds who just want to hide beautiful things in storage or a museum. It should be in an armory. And you should be in prison again. <laughs>